It's news time. Information is power. The current. The news headline. Reasons why I am demanding for the release of Inam Dekanu, Reverend Father Mbaka reviews. The founder of the Adoration Ministry, Enugun State, Reverend Father A.J.K. Mbaka, has revealed to the people of Nigeria the reasons why he is demanding for the release immediately of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Amdekanu. He said the reason why I am demanding for the release of Kanu is because he is not the problem that Nigeria is facing as a country, even those that are calling for self-agitation. I am demanding for the release of Mazen Amdekanu because since he was kidnapped in Kenya, banditry, kidnapping, bad roads, terrorism, unemployment have not stopped in Nigeria, but it is increasing on daily basis. I am demanding for his release because he is one of the ingenious brains that we have in the country and we shouldn't let anything happen to him because he has never touched an hand. I am demanding for justice for Mazen Amdekano because there is injustice in this country I will keep speaking against it. This was the press statement issued by uh, Reverend Father A.G.K. Umbaka while explaining the reasons why he is demanding from the federal government that the immediate release of Mazen Amdekano uh, should be effected, just like every other agitators, like the Yoruba Nation agitator as well. The Reverend Father Eji Umbaka made some stunning revelations about the country Nigeria. Nigeria is still experiencing security challenges despite the incarceration of Kanu and Igbo. He wondered if Kanu was responsible for the attack on the NDA, stressing that the incident was elementary compared to what would happen to the federal government if they fail to take adequate steps. Did you not hear that bandits entered our most secure place in the country? The Nigeria Defense Academy NDA, the impenetrable place in Nigeria, and killed some military officers. Will the arrest of Inam Dekanu solve any problem? Will it stop any agitation? Now, the attack on the NDA, is it Inam Dekanu now? Is it not better he is released? Since he is still under custody and the NDA could be perforated, violated and mass mar as mesmerized, what is the hope of this country if it can happen in Nigeria Defense Academy? Where else is safe? As for two people arrested in the foreign countries, Sunday Igbo was arrested and Inamdekanu as well was arrested. Sunday was held down, Inamdekanu was brought to Nigeria. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you not imagining the velocity of what is going to happen in, in this country if the entire men of God, prophets of God, real prophets will not stand with Elijah to give assignments to the prophet of Baal? If the prophets do not experience power of Elohim, if they don't experience the action of the Adonai, they will kill Elijah. But they saw there is God who resides on his altar. Time is 9.47 a.m. The news analysis Father Umbaka uh, has been uh, talking about the situation of the country, especially as for security-wise, for quite a while now. Especially uh, now that in Namdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, and also uh, Sunday uh, Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igbo, who happens to be the leader of the uh, Yoruba agitators for Odudua Nation. And Father Mbaka has been talking about the two of them because, of course, they have been in detention for now, uh, for, for a, a, a quite a while now. And Abdekanu is at the DSS facility. And then Sunday Igbo has not been extradited, like uh, in Abdekanu was extradited from Kenya. He's still at Benin Republic, where, uh, and the case is still at court, where the federal government of Nigeria are trying to extradite him back into Nigeria so that they can, you know, arrest him. There was a court order at a particular point in time that they should not be able to, that they are not uh, able to arrest Sunday Igbo while he was in Nigeria. There was a court order that was restraining the DSS from arresting him, although they are trying to make sure that uh, they, they actually, you know, stop that kind of uh, re uh, restriction on them. You know, they've been filing case to the courts that the courts should lift that kind of uh, restriction, but the court has denied them uh, that. And, the, you know, the DSS actually went to raid Sunday Adem Adeyemo. That is Sunday, they went to raise, uh, raid his house. And they killed 
uh, some people they arrested some of his aides, and that was why he fled, you know, to uh, Benin Republic via Kutonu. And on his way to, he was actually trying to go to uh, Germany, and passing through uh, Benin Republic, and that was where he was actually, you know, arrested by the security of, operative of the Benin. And the Nigerian government have been trying all their best to make sure that they extradite him back to uh, Nigeria, which has not been made possible yet. And so, Father Mbaka, the spiritual director of Adoration Ministry, Enugu, who uh, has, has called out President Muhammadu Buhari, you know, following the arrest of the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, in Abdekanu, where Mbaka said that the government should stop fighting the agitators, that they are not the cause of the problem in Nigeria. They should concentrate on, the end, on ending banditry and killings by armed headsmen all over the country. Earlier, the Attorney General of the Federal Federation and Minister of Justice had claimed that the operatives, as uh, there are operatives then, that they have intercepted in Abdi, in Abdi Kanu and is awaiting trial on treason and terrorism. But while Fadam Baka was reacting in a video, you know, obtained by Vanguard, the priest said that banditry and kidnapping have continued in the country despite the fact that they have arrested uh, in Abdi Kanu. Addressing his congregation, he stated that the federal government needs to, you know, use the same energy expended in arresting Namdekanu to tackle issues like youth unemployment, which leads to banditry and other crimes that can cause agitations in the country. You know, he was posing a question to them that since you have arrested him, we have lost many lives. So what is the use of his arrest? After he was arrested, kidnapping did not stop. Many students were kidnapped in, a, in, a, in Kaduna. And where are our security agencies? Why can't they use the same temerity to arrest all those people that are doing those things? You know, that even the Nigerian Defense Academy was actually busted of recent. And it was not just busted alone, you know, they killed uh, some people and also kidnapped uh, one major uh, Datong. You know, and it is very pathetic that the most secured uh, place, you know, one of the most secure places in Nigeria, which happens to be the military formation NDA in Africa, shouldn't have been so easy to penetrate by this uh, evil doers and banditry, which means that there is nobody that is safe in this country. So most of the politicians, and you know, he said that most of the politicians will buy ammunition and give it to millions of youths after the elections, and no one collects the ammunition back. You know, times of election, politicians are trying to win the election, and you know, Father Mbaka was like, those uh, people actually gave uh, all these politicians they will buy ammunition for their supporters. You know to defend them and all those stuff like that. And after the election, they refused to collect those ammunitions back. And those ammunitions are being used by these people to commit crimes in the environment. He said there is ed, edmen, <laughs> edsmanism, you know, <laughs> father trying to coin some words. And people have abandoned the villages and there are no jobs. People's, people's farms are ravaged and they are kidnapped and killed. He said that the arrest of these agitators is not the problem. And the federal government itself is the problem. And they need to start working on, you know, reducing the crime uh, of the, uh, the, the banditry and everything, crime in this country to the barest minimum. And only God, you know, can, if God does not intervene, coupled with their efforts, that hmm, there are many things that will still befall Nigeria greater than all this that has happened. Thanks for listening.